Meet the world's oldest fan club. Here at the Johanita Nursing Home in Gelsenkirchen, Schalke fans still follow their club week after week. We're here to visit Ursula, Hans and their pals. They've been Schalke fans for as long as they can remember, and that's a long time. The fan club members have a combined age of over a thousand. It's match day, and a few hours before kickoff, Ursula's family has come to visit. Of course, they're all Schalke fans. Schalke is important for the whole city of Gelsenkirchen. All I used to hear as a child was Schalke, Schalke, Schalke. Everyone in Gelsenkirchen is crazy about them. Wherever you go in Germany, everyone knows Schalke. Being a Schalke fan is a family tradition. It's almost like a religion. It was part of my upbringing. If your parents take you to the ground with them from an early age and you have that experience, then football becomes a lot like religion in terms of the process and liturgy and going every weekend. Then after a while, you get hooked. Ursula's great-grandson is the latest in a line of Schalke fans. As kickoff approaches, the younger members of the Lorenz family say their goodbyes. They're off to watch the match at home, and Ursula has to meet with the other members of her fan club. There are lots of fan clubs in Germany, but we're very happy because we're the oldest fan club in the whole world. It makes me laugh. I've told everyone here at the Johannita Club we're going to be famous. The Schalke pensioners make their way to their mini arena in their own time. Heinz Honat is 95 years old. He's been a Schalke fan since 1928. I used to go to the stadium, but you always had to pay entry. There were three of us who used to go. We always put our money together to pay for one of us to get in. There was just a stone wall at that time which had holes in it. So the one who was already through would pass the ticket back through the holes. So the second one could get in and then pass it back again. That's how we used to fool the club all the time. And it wasn't just Heinz who found a way to sneak through the gates. The stadium was always overflowing with fans. When Schalke played, there were things happening everywhere. If you were going somewhere while Schalke were playing, people were always happy. It's typical of the Ruhr area. At the time, no one thought about any other teams because Schalke were so big. Schalke won six German titles back in the 1930s and 40s, making them the team to beat. But the last time they won it was 1958. It was incredible. Just everything about it. The traffic would stop. Nothing would move. There weren't as many cars back then. Everybody used trains. But even so, everything just stopped moving on the roads. But those successes are distant memories now. I can't believe it. I can't believe they'll ever win it again, the way they're playing at the moment. It's terrible. Terrible or not, the fan club always sings the Schalke anthem before kickoff. They used to sing it in Schalke's glory days, too. Now they hope it brings the team luck. Schalke start the match against Wolfsburg well, and their longest serving fans are awaiting the opening goal. 
But then keeper Ralf Fehrmann is called into action to keep the score at nil-nil. He's playing well today. The team has a lot to thank him for. At halftime, the fan club members sign a few autographs. They've become famous amongst Schalke fans recently. The reason for their newfound celebrity comes up on the TV. They appeared in a commercial for the Bundesliga. In the video, they talk about their love for both Schalke and the team's home city of Gelsenkirchen. The old timers were proud to represent their club and their city. Although they somehow missed out on the football gravy train. It's a great feeling, but I'm annoyed that we didn't get paid a cent. The brothers who made the film are raking it in. Finally, the second half brings some goals. Ursula can even empathize with the other side. The way I see it, the other team would be sad if they didn't score any goals. <laughs> That's our Mrs. Lawrence. The match ends one all, and for the world's oldest fan club, it's time for bed. <laughs>